What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode. In today's video, I'm gonna be telling you guys what's happening because we have one more day before we can start up the mini. So, as I mentioned in a previous video, I have, I have a couple parts that I'm waiting on um, for the install for the mini engine. So I thought I had everything, but I don't. I'm missing a coolant piece, and I'm also missing an intake piece. So until I get those in, and they're, until they're delivered as of tomorrow, there's not really much I can do here at home uh, to get this started sooner. So what I did do is I started taking apart the front spindles. So I wanted to take care of the brakes, I wanted to take care of some of the rust that was on there. So if you guys saw the uh, subframe restoration video, I basically took that all back to bare metal, took care of it and made it look killer. And I wanna do the same kind of thing with this. So I figured because I have an extra day, why not put that time to good use? So you guys see this rust right here? Well, this doesn't exactly look so good. So I'm putting new pieces on here. So the new brake duct shield, I have new hardware, I've got new ball joints, I have new rotors somewhere, new rotors. I have new pads going in and I took apart the entire front knuckle so that I could bring the spindle to a shop to get it sandblasted. So if I were to do all this at home and sandblast that one big knuckle, it would take me a long time to do. So what I did was I removed the lug nuts, I removed the pinch bolt, I then removed the bolt that was holding the rotor on, then the rotor, then the uh, wheel speed sensor along with the bolt for it, the brake rotor shield, I removed that, Along with the old hardware, I removed the wheel bearing, and then I removed the lower ball joint. So I have new components, like the new lower ball joint, I have the new shield here, and I have other components that are gonna be going on the car. Now the one thing that I am not going to be touching is the wheel bearing. Now the reason why is because this here is a four by 100 wheel bearing. Now I might be replacing this sometime soon with another one, but the really cool thing is I wanna take a new four by 100 one that bolts directly into these minis, and make it a five bolt. So I'm gonna be probably staying with the same uh, 100 PCD, but I wanna switch it out to a five bolt. So I'm gonna probably keep one of these studs in the same spot and then drill a couple holes in here until I can make five holes instead of four. So with a four by 100 bolt set up like this, you know, you can get some pretty nice wheels, but you're really limited as to what you can run. So this Mini Cooper that I have right here, because I'm going with a wide body setup, it's gonna be really difficult to find nice wheels that are like, you know, easy to come by especially ones that are BBK friendly and wide. So that's kind of a tall order. Now, if I were to switch that setup to five by 100, that's a totally different story. So that's why the wheel bearings that you guys are seeing here are gonna be staying the same. So I'm gonna be bolting these back in after I get the spindles back. I'm gonna be putting all of this new hardware in. I'm gonna be putting new brakes on. These here are from ECS Tuning. And when I get the mini running, all of these other parts are gonna be going in. Of all the parts that you guys see right here, there's only gonna be a handful of them that are gonna be going in on the car to get it started. So obviously I need the rad and the whole front support. I'm gonna be putting in the old washer setup, the windshield washer setup. I'm gonna be putting in this piece here that connects both struts. I'm gonna be putting in the front brake pads. These are EBC yellow stuffs. Awesome brake pad setup. Most of these other parts aren't going to be going in. So I have a big brake kit, I have an oil cooler, I have a different steering wheel, I have a DIY polyurethane bushing kit, I have a whole bunch of other stuff for the rear subframe. So I'm gonna be replacing and restoring the whole rear subframe with new stuff. Um, I need to bring that back to life, just like I did with the front. I have new plugs, these are gonna be going in. Engine dress up kit. Oh, this is a fun one. I'm not gonna tell you what that one is yet, but that's a, that's a really good one. Uh, new brake lines, TPMS sensors. In this box, I have a couple other just smaller things. This is going on the Mini. It's a valve cover kit. Um, new hardware for the pinch bolts for the back of the spindles. So those are gonna be going on soon. Uh, new seals, those are gonna be going in. Underneath here, I have different tail lights for the Mini. This is going in before I get the car started. That's an upgraded intercooler. So I did have an Alta intercooler on the car, but I found out that the Wagner one actually is a better setup. Now over here, I got some other fun stuff too. I have a recirculatory um, valve right here for the turbocharger that I'm probably not going to install yet, but I will get to it eventually. Aero catch hood pins, um, stickers from ECS, fuel pump kit, like a new filter and the tool to remove it all. I have gauges and everything from Craven Speed. I have a rear interior brace from Ultra Racing. I have a rear sway bar. This is from Eibach. That's gonna be going in when I do the rear subframe restoration along with this kit here. This little piece, this is from Ultra Racing as well. This is one of the chassis bracing pieces that they have for the underside of the car. Uh, last but not least, in this box here, I have a brake duct kit for the front of the Mini. 
So I have a whole bunch of stuff that still needs to go in, but my priority right now is getting this mini motor up and running. So I need to get this thing going. I'm waiting on those two pieces. It connects down here, the one coolant pipe, and goes up, and then I have the other pipe going uh, from the intake to the turbo. So until I get those, I can't really put any of the other stuff back on. Like, smaller stuff like the intake manifold, I can put in, but it's not going to be difficult. I wanna see if I can get this as ready as I can for tomorrow. So if these parts get delivered as they should tomorrow, I should be able to get this thing up and running. So knock on wood, I hope everything goes smoothly. I hope the mini engine starts up fine. If something is broken or something doesn't work, I'm gonna be so pissed. Um, knock on wood, it doesn't though. I, I can't imagine anything actually going wrong because I took my time with everything, so I'm hoping that's, you know, that it's all done right. Another thing that I wanna talk about is the fluids. Okay, so right here I have the fluids that are gonna be going in the mini engine. So these are the fluids that I removed, which means I have to put all this back in. So obviously I need to put coolant inside the car once I get it going. I have the transmission fluid. This here is from Motul. It's a 75W90. I'll probably be replacing that with different fluid once I actually drive the car and get it all broken in. The same thing goes with the engine oil. So this here is the Motul fluid. This is 5W30. This is what I'm going to be running in the Mini once I get it broken in. I probably won't use this uh, to get the actual engine started and running for the first initial break-in period, but what I do want to do is run a couple oil changes before I actually beat on the car. I want to get everything circulated. I want to remove all the break-in fluid that's found inside the motor right now. So I want to start the car up, get it going, and then once it's actually going and operating, I'm going to do an oil change, probably let it sit for a good hour or two, do another oil change, and then give her, and then have some fun with this thing. One more thing that I do need to worry about after I get this broken in is I need to figure out my tuning situation. Now, as for the tuning, I can do a couple things. There's two tuners that I know of that are really popular with these minis. The first one is a Manic tune, and the second one is an RPM tune. I've heard of a lot of good things with both, but the RPM tune seems to be more tuned towards me, so I'm gonna be going that route and I'll be discussing a lot of stuff regarding that once the motor's broken in. But that's gonna be for another video. Now, side note, when was the last time you guys saw this garage door open on the mini side? So it's open, I have a whole bunch of stuff that was inside the mini trunk, that's all removed. I have a couple components here that do need to be uh, well, installed on the car. I have the intake manifold, I have the coolant pipes, um, and I have the intake itself. So once I get the other parts from the States, I'll be able to put all the stuff in and get her going. I'm so pumped. I hope you guys are as excited as I am because this thing has been up in the air for too long. She's still on jack stands. I want to see if I can have her touch the earth um, tomorrow. So knock on wood. So I wanted to give you guys a quick little update video about what's going on here because with, when you guys do an engine build, if you guys plan on doing one, there are going to be so many other things that you guys are going to encounter. You are not going to realize A, how expensive this all is, but B, how many parts you need to order. Now, the worst part of this entire thing is waiting for all this stuff to get shipped. So if I lived, I don't know, in the States, maybe this would be a little bit different. I'd probably have a little bit less wait time, but still, I've got to do with what I have. So I live in Canada, which means that if I need anything, I will buy it in the States, ship it to my P.O. box in the States, and then go pick it up. That's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I want to see if I can get it in the morning so I can get this thing up and going. But that's pretty much it for this video. I'm going to be working on the Mini today. I'm going to be getting most of these parts back on the car. Um, and just stay tuned for tomorrow. Tomorrow, I am so hoping that we can get this thing started. So be sure to check back tomorrow. I am so pumped. So pumped. Uh, yeah. If you guys have any further questions or notes or whatever, comment sections down there. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.